this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Boss Time! I mean, Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! Sorry, I, I get those two mixed up all the time. Huh, what's this guy's name? Visage? Visage? Whatever, there's no way I'm going to pronounce that correctly. But, uh, huh. This is just a normal random enemy, though. Why do we have boss music? Uh, we could have met up with this guy back at the uh, Great Salt Lake there, but uh, apparently now he's a uh, boss here. But well, that was easy. They're weak to holy elemental, but whoa, holy crap! What the hell is that? Yeah, yeah, you didn't think it was gonna be that easy, did you, viewers? This guy is Gargantuan. No, his name's actually Gargantua. Um, he can inflict status ailments on you. Well, I'm not worried about Squall, but Zell can't hit anything. He can't hit, uh, flies. But anyway, uh, Squall I'm not worried about because he has max hit percentage anyway, even under darkness. So, melt down him and just go all out. And he has a annoying counterattack that deals, well, a little bit of damage, I guess. You can also draw... Uh, which one is it? Cerberus from this guy if you missed it earlier. Just so you know. Oh man, maybe I should have put some, I don't know, some actual statuses on my defense junctioning. Oh well, that's okay. Because he's dead! Er, well, dead again. Do you really need the beams of light coming out of every single boss in this area game? I mean, it's, it was kind of cool the first couple times, but... <laughs> Guess they just gotta over-dramatize it, you know? Hooray! What is that? Four down, four to go? Or, well, sort of. I'll show you what I mean soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. Ooh, a magic armor. Alright. And what do I want to unseal this time? Uh, draw. Why not? Oh, actually, there's a very good reason why I want to draw, unlock draw, because here we have an Ultima draw point. So, uh, what I want to do is I want to actually give a few Ultimas to one of my other characters and then draw them here. I'll explain why later, but let me take care of that off screen. Okay, took care of that real quick off screen. Was there a lever on the left side of that room? Eh, I don't think it's important, but... Anyway, let's just head on back here and switch to the other party then. I'll have to switch my junctions over there and then heal up, of course. Well, no, I don't need to heal up. All I need is, uh, they're not going to fight a boss, or at least not anytime soon. Let's just switch Squall over there so that way they got encounter none. And now we got to get back to the entrance. But how are we going to do that after we fell down that chandelier? Well, you got to head over to the left there first, so let's do that. It's going to be quite a bit of backtracking in this episode, viewers, but, uh, you know, this place can be kind of mazy if, well, you haven't played it before, so I just want to make sure I've got all my bases covered so you guys know what the hell you're doing. So now if you go back here, I think this takes us back to the main hall. Does it? Yes. There we go. Now, about those Ultimas. Uh, now, before I had 300 Ultimas, and now I have, well, a little over 300 the reason why I want to do that is because uh, I'm going to draw the maximum of 600. So when I'm fighting the guy who I'm going to draw the remaining Ultimas from, I want to be able to junction Ultima to my strength, but then fill or boost my strength as I'm drawing the additional Ultimas during that battle. So that way, you know, I can still at least junction it because I can't junction zero Ultimas. Now there's a room to the left there, but we don't want to go there quite yet. Soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. Let's head on up here first. And, uh... Ah, yes. The elevator room. First things first, uh... There's an elevator on the left and one on the right. How does this one work, you ask? Well, first let's switch over to the other party. And switch, uh... Keep the junctions back to Squall there, so I have encountered none. Now what we need to do here is head over to the left. If I can get through that door there. Man, Ultima C has got a good decorator with all those stained glass windows. I like this hallway here for some reason. I don't know why. Just something about the atmosphere there. But anyway, haha! -ha! Now since we have two men in the party on the right, 
Well, the men weigh more than the women because of all the hot dog cells eating. No, no, just kidding. But that's just how it works. So let's switch to the other party now. And you know what? I'm going to play it a little risky. Let's go without Encounter None because this is real quick here. Just head on over to the left here. And on the ground here, we get the Floodgate Key. Remember there was a Floodgate earlier in this area? We gotta head back there with the Floodgate Key, so let's do that. Uh, whew, made it back without, uh, well, without having any, any more problems. Uh, without running into a random battle without encounter none, that's what I meant. Yeah. Well, sometimes, you know, you lose your train of thought. Well, now they're back down there, so. Unfortunately, that party cannot lift us back up there, so. Now we're gonna have to walk back down to the Floodgate the long way. Oh well. But yeah, I prefer to do... Game? I prefer to show some amount of backtracking on screen as long as it's not, you know, too tedious. And, well, fortunately, I don't have to edit out a whole lot because there's no random battles for me to edit out. Ah, there we go. You remember how to get to the floodgate now. Just take the path to the right there. We're still getting paid. Shouldn't I have, like, infinite money now? I mean, if time is all compressed... Can't I compress all my paychecks into one? Of course, what good's money now when, you know, you have everything? Well, I suppose there's still the call shop ability. That's the only way you can shop on Disc 4, I think, is with Tonberry's call shop ability. And there's also the junk shop ability, which allows you to forge your weapons. But that's something you can keep up with, too. I like how they call it the junk shop in the game, because the weapons are really junk in this game. They are. I mean, they suck horribly. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. If we go over here with the floodgate key... Ha-ha! Just pull on this lever. Can you stand in the water there, Zell? Oh. No, I guess not. Okay. Well, anyway, that's all we gotta do there. Just close off the floodgate, and it'll open up a secret passage somewhere. But I don't want to go there quite yet. So, uh, let's see. No, I don't want to switch this. Oh, no, I got to go all the way back to the beginning there. Or, well, back to the main hall. Uh, what do I got to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, now I remember. Now I remember. Uh, guys, there we go. Uh, there we are. Yeah, we got to go down that chandelier again. That's right. Not a big fan of chandeliers, I'll be honest with you viewers. A little too, uh, fancy for my taste. A little scary, too. I mean, it could crash down. Like, you see them in movies all the time, you know, and... Oh, whatever. Oh, whoa! You okay there, Zell? Come on, Zell, shake it off. <laughs> I like how Zell just kind of cricks his neck like that. <laughs> I don't know why, that just seemed amusing to me. Oh. No, no, I'm, I'm going to bite my tongue on that joke. Yeah, yeah, let's uh, let's switch to the other party. Now I really want to switch all my junctions over here. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Uh, the only change I made to my setup was I equipped Quake on my elemental attack junction. And then head on over here to the treasure vault. What could possibly be in this room? Whoa! Did I get the wrong room? This looks like the morgue. What can we find in these coffins? Take a wild guess, viewers. Or just find out in the next few seconds. Now, now, I'm not going to cliffhang you here this time. Hey, hey. There we go. Now, now, I wouldn't do that to you, viewers. No, no boss cliffhanger this time. I thought about it. I thought about it, but I figured, you know, I can probably fit this guy in here. I hope. Whoa, looks like one of those behemoths. Katoblapas, huh? What do you humans plan to do against the likes of me? Okay, first things first. Uh, same thing as every other boss around here. Meltdown, attack. I suppose being, fo well, maybe not forced, but... You know, having to use a debuff against the boss is a step up in the amount of strategy that this game requires for bosses. So, there you are. And, uh, just make sure you have a lot of HP at the end of the fight, or before you finish him off. Because he'll do this. There you go. 
Oh, how did you know I love having meteors strapped on my head? By the way, you can draw Alexander from this guy if you missed it earlier. Which you'll need if you want to get Doom Train. Because if you don't get Doom Train, Selfie will get very upset. Did I get him? Hooray! Got him. Yeah, Meteor is the strongest spell in the game, and that's all it did to me. Oh well! Explode and mount. Alright. Got a two for one special this time. Alright, got it. But what useless seal will I break next? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.